When the Vatican confirmed that Pope Francis would visit Kenya on the 25th of November 2015, women from the Dolly Craft Center in Nairobi put a request to celebrate the Pope with three vestments. The Vatican approved the request and the women began work. The project will offer to the Pope as a, a kind of receiving blessing from him and we are open to hear and to, re to receive what he will tell us. Dolly Craft is an income generating facility in Kangemi, a slum about 20 miles from the capital Nairobi. The majority of the people here moved to the city from rural villages to look for work to support their families. The facility run by St. Joseph the Worker Catholic Church currently provides full-time employment to 30 women. It mainly makes vestments for Catholic and Anglican church leaders, but also makes men's suits, men's African wear, women's outfits and curtains. The women took samples of what they intended to make for the Pope to the bishops in charge of the preparations of his visit. The bishops were happy with what was presented and gave them a go-ahead. Assisted by eight men, they are also making other vestments to be used in the papal mass, which will include 300 priests and 60 bishops. We will do 564. Actually, they will reach 600 or four. They have worked around the clock to make sure the vestments are ready before the Pope's arrival. They were working from 6 to 7 in the evening. Even for lunch, they were going uh, not less than half an hour. Three vestments made from different fabrics are ready for the Pope's main function. Since his election, Pope Francis has met the most needy in his foreign tours. He is expected to meet 1,500 people from this slum and from over 200 other slums here in Kenya. It is a gesture the church here has termed a show of solidarity with the less privileged in the society. Preparations are underway mostly on the main road leading to the parish where the Pope will meet the slum dwellers. During his six-day trip to Africa from November 25th to November 30th, Pope Francis will visit Kenya, Uganda and the Central African Republic. The three countries have recently suffered serious security breakdowns which have led to concerns about the Pope's personal safety. Father Marandu has, however, played down any security concerns. From the collaboration, cooperation we have seen from various security forces, government forces, I think we are in order.